Uh, Lee DeFay. Is Lee here? Yep. Welcome. All right, I'll try and keep it brief. I changed up my topic a bit based on what you all heard earlier. Um, so, you want a tourism draw, you want to increase tourism, you want to uh, save some money for the court and for the police enforcement, I would suggest free bathrooms downtown. There are no open bathrooms downtown which are accessible to folks with no money at night. Folks are forced to use alleyways and face harassment and arrest by the police on a nightly basis. This is an issue of basic access to basic necessities. The city has yet to act on this issue, despite numerous communications back and forth. I'm not quite sure where we're all at on that, but I figured I'd better bring it up. Currently, to tie this into the occupation, we have access to a bathroom which the state bribed us with in order to get us to move from Sylvester Park to Heritage Park. We acted in good faith. The state is now threatening to take that from us, as well as our limited access to electricity. Several city council board members expressed their support for the occupation and for house-free folks, for buskers, for everyone else down there. So here's an easy and inexpensive way to prove it. I'm sure some of these other folks have reminded you about our concerns surrounding the anti-busking law, the sit-lie ordinance, the anti-panhandling law, and other selectively enforced laws which are used to target some of the most vulnerable members of our society. And for the record, many of us in Occupy Olympia would never have agreed to the move without the assurances made by the state that we could have structures, bathrooms, and peace of mind. As it turns out, these were lies. Our bad. Should have learned our lessons. Might be part of the reasons there's some cynicism directed towards y'all. Sorry about that. Prove us wrong. So we decided to move so we could create a safe place for home free folks. Or try to create a safe place for home free folks. And that's something that the city maybe has made some efforts toward, but ultimately if we look outside around downtown, has failed to do. If for that and no other reason, we're not going anywhere. Winter is coming, and we are here to help each other. So where are you? If you can't get the state off our backs, we will be back as a city problem. All of that waste that's no longer ending up in your alleyways and on your roads and on your sidewalks is going to be there because people have no other place to go. Uh, just so you all know as well, many folks without homes and many low-income folks who are desperately scraping by don't have access to the internet, don't have an address that you can write them to with a letter format, and you can't afford even a phone to accept calls. So, if you all want to try and get some word out, you need to figure out a little bit of those privileges that aren't accessible to everyone. And those businesses that did show up, well, they have access to those things, and they can pay someone to show up. And just to touch on the uh, budget presentation, Washington State has the most regressive tax structure in the nation. And sales taxes, although they may bring in a lot of money, specifically focus and hurt low-income and poor people the most. And small business tax is not a good idea either. I'll see you all again. Thanks for your time. Great. Uh, Joseph Elise, followed by James Parabello. Is uh, Joseph here? 